Pod YouTube. Good morning. Today is another great opportunity to is it to be able to achieve whatever it is that I'm trying to do today. And this applies for, I guess, all of us, obviously. So another day, it's another gift. Um, let's see, what do I want to say? Um, oh yeah, last video. Um, let's see, I didn't get an out outro in it. So and I do apologize for that. Obviously there'll be an outro in this one, but usually, it, obviously if the last video was the first one you watched, like, you would know that obviously I do, um, what is it? We do uh, intro, lift, posing, and then outro. Outro is usually done in my room, like where I talk about uh, the Bible, talk about some scripture, like what I feel like I, like from what I've read, like what stood out to me, all that kind of stuff. Um, like biblically, I guess if that makes sense, like the biblical aspect, it's like a religious outro, if that makes sense. So. Um, that wasn't included in yesterday's video and I do apologize for that. Uh, no excuse. Um, I just forgot to, I just, honestly, I'm going to just be honest. I didn't really feel like record. It was already late at night when I was getting home and I just couldn't mustered up the energy to like talk about it, which obviously on my part, um, I need to be doing better, but that's just me being completely honest with you on being transparent. Uh, -uh um, Anyways, uh, today it is a leg day, so my legs are still a little sore from the, uh, from my what was it sun, from my Sunday leg day. Um, so I'm thinking there's a couple of movements that I don't want to do. Uh, I'm not gonna do uh, barbell back squat today. Let's see. Um, I'm not gonna do pack squat. I think I'm gonna keep it extremely basic today. I'm not gonna call it a deed load day. I guess in, in a sense it is because I'm not going to go super heavy and I'm not going to do compound movements. So I guess technically it is a, um, a deload load day, but let's just say for sure going to do leg extensions, seated curls for sure, calves obviously. Um, and then we might go a little extra heavy, not heavy, but we might go focused on uh, hamstring today because I feel like that car in front of me is super loud, super nice too. Hold on, let me show you all. I'm not sure if you can see that. The 350Z. Dang. Yeah, that sounds nice. Holy. He is hauling. He is flying. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, it'll be a hamstring focus day today. Uh, so without further ado, get you on the gym.
our YouTube. We have made it home, so let it let us let us let us discuss today. So um, let's go ahead and di uh, dissect the lifting aspect of today's video. Uh, what do we hit? Legs, yeah, legs. Um, <clears throat> very very solid day. So um, after that very last set of hamstring curls that you guys saw, I did one more set off camera to complete failure so i think we did the same weight boom 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 then we did a drop set maybe to like maybe 110 because it was at 170 so we dropped it to maybe 110 boom 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 did that to failure and kept going so technically i'm just gonna call it one long set and just keep drop setting and then we dropped it to i think it was like 55 pounds and then we did single legs single leg seated curls so um till failure failure so that was very good um I still feel it right now. Obviously, we did a we did what we needed to do um, as a what is it in as a in the bodybuilding perspective, we did our job if that makes sense. So we did what we needed to do in the gym today, which is the most important part. So, um, I think that's all I want to say. Um, it was just an overall decent lift. Um, I will say I'm getting a lot more comfortable recording in the gym obviously and it's weird how throughout that time that per that period where i didn't um record in the gym coming like trying to record in the gym after taking that big break was like almost impossible like i remember like multiple times i had already done the intro for the video so like i would already talk in the car and be like oh this is what we're doing today and we'd roll into the gym i literally just couldn't whip the camera out i couldn't whip the tripod out i just couldn't like i literally couldn't physically get myself to do it but we're doing it now so and it, i will say it does make it a little bit easier because we have on top of the obviously i want to show you guys like what it like my movements and stuff like that and how i'm doing them and what it's like how that is um what is it uh transferring over into my physique like the the movements that i'm doing and how if it, if does that make sense so um and at the end of the day like it makes it a little bit easier to the, do it because I know that at the end of the day, literally, I talk about the Bible, which is we're, what we're commanded to do. Like we're commanded to spread the word. And um, and so, yeah. And so go ahead and straight, get straight to it. So I honestly, I thought I was in the book of, because um, I'm in two different parts right now. I'm in the book of Mark and then I'm also in Acts. So um, I thought I was in, I thought I was in Mark and I thought I was reading the book of Mark and obviously I wasn't, I didn't realize until like later. And I was like, well, hold on. Um, so we read a little bit of the book in, of Acts. So, um, what do I want to say? What do I want to say? Um, I think for today, I think what I want to talk about was, um, is the eclipse. Let's go back to a couple days. I think I maybe already talked about, maybe I talked about it in a video before, but there was a couple apologies that I needed to give out. And that was to my sister, obviously, because I was talking about like the end times and stuff like that with my mom and my sister. And I think I scared her a little bit because obviously the information that I was saying is from what I had heard from every, like other people from like on TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. And it wasn't from my own knowledge and it wasn't my own understanding. So I spread information and I scared her and I said it in a way that misrepresented the word, obviously, because I can't I can't speak. Uh, I can only speak for what I know. And I was speaking on talking out of my neck, pretty much just saying what other people were saying and obviously um that's not what you're supposed to do you're supposed to understand the scriptures and then be able to kind of transfer them to somebody else so and that's what i'm trying to do so i i apologized to her the other day um but i will say this um uh where were we at? there was a couple there was one one thing yeah the reason why i bring that up is because um there was a verse in here that kind of um in acts that made me like remember all that like this conversation that i had so it says it's in acts 2 verse 17 and it shall come to pass in the last days saith god i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams and on my servants and on my handmaids i will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy and i will shew wonders show whatever that word is shoe wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke 
The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. So that verse right there kind of reminded me of um, of kind of why I was so nervous that day of the eclipse is because I had heard someone say that the sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord. So um, obviously, if you read it in context, it really isn't saying much except that what is it saying? It'll the sun will be turned dark and the moon shall be turned into blood. But really, we re really don't even know when or like what. Like it doesn't. It's not necessarily meaning an eclipse. All this other things that I think people were super super quick to jump to conclusions, and I'm part of the problem because I was very quick to cling on to those conclusions and then s pass them off as truth. And in reality, obviously, it wasn't because it just wasn't. And that was my. That was my fault, and I think it honestly made me understand, made me realize how much more I needed to understand the scripture before I can say it out loud so confidently like that. But, um, but yeah, so Acts basically talks a lot about uh, repenting. Um, let's see, repent ye, this is uh, Acts 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins m may be bottled out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive unto the times of restitution of all things, which God, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the word, since the world began. So, um, so yeah. I think that's all I want to get into today. Um, I just thought I should point that out. I was saying that I owe a couple apologies and those apologies were kept and I did my fair share of apologizing. So that's all I want to say today, I think. Um, I think... Um, yeah, that's it. Um, hope you guys have a good day. And see y'all next time.